Buying a bank-owned property is not like it used to be. My name is Mark Schreier, and I'm a licensed sales associate with Century 21 American Homes Real Estate right here in Long Island, New York. Besides specializing in REOs, bank-owned properties, and traditional real estate sales, I have been exposed to a new breed of bank-owned property. Most people, when they think of a bank-owned property, they think of something that needs a ton of work, $100,000 plus dollars of work, kitchen, bathroom, flooring, roofing, everything needs to be replaced. And those are still out there. In this video, I'm going to share with you the traditional REO, the traditional bank owned property that you've probably seen and if you're not an investor maybe you haven't so take a look and at the latter part of the video i'm going to share with you the new breed of bank owned property it is a totally refurbished property that all you need to do is bring your furniture and your toothbrush and you're ready to move in this is a great option for people who are looking in neighborhoods and never considered looking into the reos a lot of real estate agents don't realize that bank owned properties could be something their buyers are looking to buy but usually most realtors don't understand that some banks, even though they're in the money-making business, which they are, are starting to get savvy and dabble into the renovation business as well. So even though this, these properties are keeping the REO or bank-owned property title, they're actually end-user properties that do not need special financing for you to move into. So stay tuned to the upcoming video. Please give me a thumbs up if you like it. Definitely leave comments in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit the subscription button and the bell for notifications. Thank you. As you can see, this is probably what you expect when you hear bank owned or foreclosed property. The house needs a lot of work, also known as a fixer upper, handyman special, depending on your level of handyman. The power is out. Everything needs to be redone and updated. You're in a uh, if you, the town you have a desire to be in, then that's a plus for you. If you like to do work or you want to flip something, then this is the type of property you should be looking for. But if you stay tuned to the latter part of this video, you're going to see the new breed of bank owned property or REO. This particular house is going to need a renovation loan with all the work that needs to be done. And what that basically means is you're going to get whatever you buy the house for. This one is, I believe, about 503 asking price. So if you get it for around that price, then you're going to have to take out a loan to fix it up. So you're going to have to, with a contractor and the mortgage company, decide how much money it's going to take to make this livable to your liking and then get pre-approved for that amount of money. And as the process goes through, they will come and inspect and pay the contractor uh, piece by piece as they do the different ends of the project. So this is a traditional or the old school bank owned properties. Uh, and if this is for you, it's a great way to move into a neighborhood. If there's um, not so much inventory, then this is something you can consider if you have a contractor that you're hooked up with or if you're an investor. And stay tuned again for the latter part of the video and you will see what the new breed of REO is. Uh, and that's one where you're not going to need a bank loan or you're not going to need a renovation loan. You could just move right in. Okay, so I mentioned a new type of REO or bank owned property. This is it. This is a fully renovated bank owned property, still an REO. So for those of you who are end users, this is something you can consider. When you're looking in a neighborhood for uh, properties and the inventory seems to be low, don't cancel something out just because it says bank owned or REO in the description. I'm gonna give you a quick tour of this house and I'll let you judge for yourself. Okay, as you can see, everything has been updated from the brand new paint to the crown moldings to the kitchen. You can hear the smoke alarms chirping away, the stainless steel appliances, nice backyard. I'm gonna take you on a brief tour of the property. This is a split. Plenty was known for having a lot of splits. Brand new wall to wall carpeting. 
updated bathroom. And yes, it's been winterized. One bedroom, excuse the chirping. Everything's been updated, walls, paint. Again, crowd moldings upstairs. We have three bedrooms, this being the master. In wall AC unit, radiator heat. And this is the master bathroom with a full shower, new tile, everything has been updated. And as we go back down, Okay, so in closing, we can see the new breed or the new type of Ario out there. Definitely not investor friendly, but definitely end user or first time home buyer or that move up home buyer. It opens up inventory that hasn't been available to you in the past. So make sure you ask your real estate agent, can you please show me some end user friendly REOs? And if they're not sure what you mean, you could definitely reach out to me. We have new products, new inventory coming on the market every day. I service predominantly Long Island, but I have ref a referral network that goes uh, in the tri-state area with these renovated REOs. So I hope this video was helpful and thanks for watching.